Hello, my name is Renee C, and I'm the owner of the website called EasyDrupalTutorials.com. Please take a minute to read this message. I also own the website called CashCats.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about using CCK in conjunction with being able to create your own YouTube on your website. So let's say you go ahead and want to create a video page where this looks very similar to a YouTube page as well. And you want to be able to use other people's videos or videos that you've created that they've uploaded on YouTube and allow your visitors to access these videos. Since this site is focused on credit repair, I've gone ahead and downloaded quite a few Suzy Orman YouTube videos for my visitors to enjoy. So let's say for instance you want to go ahead and recommend to people I click I on the full video the basics with something and you want to be able to create a CCK link field above the video and also below the video. That way people can click on it to purchase either a credit repair program or they can go ahead and purchase a credit report, which is what Susie Orman recommends people to do. So in order to do that, you're going to want to make sure that you go into the administer area go to site building and download a module called CCK and it's right here. You go to drupal.org, go to slash CCK. I've downloaded the 5x10 version and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and check off content and you're also going to want to check off the link node reference, number, option widgets, text, user reference, and field group. So let's go ahead and check those all off. So again you're going to want to come into the site building area and under CCK because you've downloaded onto your Drupal website you're going to check off content, check off field group, image field, link, node reference, number, option widgets, text, user reference, and scroll down until you click on site save configuration. Excellent. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to administer and we're going to want to check it by module and we're going to scroll down until we find the CCK area so now if let's say you want to go ahead and create a field a custom link field it's very easy to do. You select the content type that you're going to want to work with by going to content management, content types. Since I want to add a link above the video and below the video, you want to select the video content type and click on edit. And what you're going to want to do is click on right here it shows display fields. Right now there's one field which is the video URL and if you click on manage fields you see the video URL that's that's it right there so you simply click on add field here you're gonna type in just link as the name then you're gonna scroll down this is the CCK interface and you're gonna wanna click on the text field for title and URL so you click on create field 
and now you've created a widget which is the text field for the title and URL. So we want to leave the label as link here. And if you want to force the person to uh, put in a link, you're going to check off required. In this instance, I'm just going to leave it off and put optional URL. And I can, you can actually type a required title. If you, that forces the visitor to actually type in the title. You can actually put no title, but I'm just going to leave it as optional title. And the URL display cutoff will be 80. And then the link target, I'm actually going to put in relationship equals no follow. And I'm going to click on save field settings. So notice that the link has been created now. So if we go ahead and click on create content and go to video, you're going to notice that the link title has been created and you can go and type in the link URL whenever you add a video. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to add a link field to the content type video. I would recommend that you please go to my Drupal How To's website and read my hosting review on where you can host your Drupal website. Thank you and this concludes my tutorial on how to add a link to the video content type.